Good evening, and welcome to the 2021 Coronet Awards Ceremonies. My name is Robert Zick, and I am proud to be your host tonight. To begin our program, I would like to introduce Tara Lamb, the Fountain Valley ASB president, with a special welcome to our students. Hello, my name is Tara Lamb, 2020 to 2021 ASB student body president and I would like to personally welcome you to the 2021 Coronets Award Ceremony. Congratulations to the students who were nominated for this most prestigious award, and congratulations to the parents for your contributions towards your students' education, as this would not be possible without you. Although the Coronet Awards could not be held in person this year, we would still love to commemorate the students' hard work by virtually continuing the Coronet tradition at Fountain Valley High School and celebrating as one barren family, even though we are apart during this time. Thank you, and please enjoy tonight's ceremony. Thank you, Tara. And now to welcome you from the lovely theater in room 309 on the FBHS campus, let me introduce our principal, Dr. Morgan Smith. History books tell us that the coronet, or small crown, was used as early as the ninth century as a symbol of nobility. Beginning with the 14th century, the barons wore the coronet as a symbol of authority, which they had achieved either through service to their country or by exceptional valor on the field of battle. The coronet was born, worn only on significant occasions. Consequently, as time passed, it was made from gold or silver and decorated with precious stones. The coronet award thus became the barons' most prized and valuable possession. The Coronet Award presented tonight is also a symbol of nobility, for it is the highest recognition that Fountain Valley High School bestows upon a student. It has been attained through either their outstanding achievement or service or both. Some students have excelled in and are honored in more than one subject. However, a student may win only one Coronet Award in any given year. It is hoped that this Coronet Award will become a prized and valuable possession. And now, it is with pleasure that we begin the celebration with Mr. Robert Zick, our Master of Ceremonies, who is assisted by our producers, Mrs. Sarah Sade and Mrs. Annalise Atreet. Thank you, Dr. Smith. The students we honor here this evening are selected by the faculty in each department. Each of these selected honorees will receive the Coronet Award pin. After hours of comparing achievement, academic success, and their overall contribution to the department, the honorees were chosen, and finally, the Coronet Award winner is selected. Perhaps the singular term winner is misleading, as it implies there will be only one winner tonight. This could not be further from the truth. Every student nominated is a winner, and we, we couldn't be more proud of you. 
Congratulations on all you have accomplished. It's now time to begin our presentation of the Coronet Awards. The excellence we recognize here tonight is a joint effort by the students, the instructional staff, and you, the parents. We will start tonight's festivities recognizing the honorees in the area of world languages. Alia Alzane, Avery Austin, David Beam, Juliette Bocor, Justin Shea, Tara Lamb, Grace Lotto, Daniel Matthew, Duclan No, An Nguyen, Audrey Nguyen, Benjamin Nguyen, Jasmine Nguyen, Michelina Nguyen, Serafina Nguyen, Vanessa Nguyen, Shayla Pham, Nu Fung, Peter Sears, Laura Stoy, Joanne Tran, Diana Trong, Lena Trong, Tiffany Vo, Annie Vu. To present the awards in the area of world languages is world languages instructor and department coordinator, Mr. Jim Desidu. The finalists in the area of French are Alia Alsame, Laura Stoy. The finalists in the area of Japanese are An Nguyen and Vanessa Nguyen. The finalists in the area of Spanish are Justin Shea, Tara Lamb, and Peter Sears. The Coronet Award winner in the area of French is Laura Stoy. Laura has been a dedicated student of the French language since her freshman year. Now in AP French 4, Laura credits French teacher Madame Ouellette for sparking her love of the language. The guidance and motivation Madame Ouellette gave to Laura her freshman year and in the years since has stayed with her, as have the songs Madame Ouellette teaches students to help with learning vocabulary or verb conjugation. Laura as she can says she can confidently now state that French is one of her passions. She says that French has taught her the beauty of diversity and helped her discover other cultures. It's also now instilled in her the desire to learn more languages. Laura spends time outside of class to research phrases, watch videos, and absorb as much French language and culture as she can. Also an accomplished award-winning violinist, Laura is president of the FEHS Orchestra and a member of the Irvine Valley College Symphony Orchestra. She is involved in the newly formed FV United Under Arts Club and a member of the French Club. As a member of these groups, Laura says she's become confident, knowledgeable, and outgoing. She has been awarded a merit scholarship at the University of Colorado at Denver, the Vanguard University Presidential Centennial Academic Scholarship, and the President's Academic Scholarship at Biola University. She's decided, however, to attend Concordia University, where she has also been awarded an academic scholarship and will major in instrumental performance. Bon chance, Laura. The Coronet Award winner in the area of Japanese is An Nguyen. This trilingual baron's talent and passion for the study of Japanese shifted into overdrive between freshman and sophomore years when at the suggestion of her teacher, Ms. Tanaka, she jumped from Japanese one to Japanese three via dedicated summer study. It is rare for a junior to receive the Japanese language coronet but thanks to her accelerated course of study, Ahn is currently acing her second semester of AP Japanese 4. Her daily goals have included requiring herself to read more manga in Japanese, to watch Japanese dramas and anime without subtitles, to converse with her teacher in Japanese, and perhaps most challenging of all, to think in Japanese. In addition to her excellence in Japanese language, 
On is the FBHS Japanese Club historian and a talented pianist with a high school diploma top rating awarded last year. On shared and developed her passion for music as a three-year mem member of the Fountain Valley Royal Regiment Percussion Ensemble, where she's a 2020 Front Ensemble Section Leader. Her meaningful involvement in extracurriculars taught her to manage her time carefully and develop her ability to compromise while working as a team. Ahn hopes to attend UC San Diego where she'll pursue her dream of becoming an industrial pharmacist, but we won't get ahead of ourselves since she's still a junior. Congratulations Ahn, and we'll see you next year. The Coronet Award winner in the area of Spanish is Tara Lynn. Tara Lamb is the person who believes in solving problems creatively. When faced with the COVID lockdown last year, our then ASB Student Forum Commissioner found ways to keep students connected. Together with advisor Dr. Scan, she created links for each grade level through our campus learning management system, Canvas. The realization that all, not, not all students use various kinds of social media was instrumental in her developing ways for over 80 of our campus clubs and groups to connect with each other. As this year's ASB president, Tara has continued to invest in the platform, knowing firsthand how much students need the support and social interaction the school offers. Her work even garnered her the Canvas's Note to Self Scholarship, and she was invited to share the story of FVHS accomplishments with 35,000 educators at their Canvas National Conference. As a four-year student of Spanish, including in the formidable AP Spanish Four, Tara approaches the subject the way she does all things, creatively. She said that it is her unmatched curiosity and love for a subject, not the recognition, GPA boost, or credit that drives her efforts and makes learning new things easy. She says, learning is so much more than acing a class or scoring perfectly on a test. Learning is about applying newly obtained knowledge to the real world and taking that information to make the world a better place. And that, she says, is the most fulfilling feeling. Academically, Tara has thrived. She is an AP scholar with honor, has earned the seal of biliteracy, and was named September Seniors of the Month, and has earned a number of scholarships based on her academic accomplishments and service. When things got particularly challenging for her last school year, it was Spanish teacher Senor Gerardo Gonzalez who helped reinvigorate Tara. She says that it was in the fall that she began to lose focus and motivation, but that Senor Gonzalez noticed. He checked in with her and let her know he was there to help, which was just what Tara needed. The attention he gave her helped her get back on track, and she is grateful to him for the kindness he shows and the inspiration he instills in all his students. Felicidades on this great honor, Tara, y buena suerte. I would like to introduce the honorees in the area of vocal music. Sirhan Albuquerque, Timothy Doe, Cameron Nguyen, Emily Nguyen, Lara Pinegian, Miriam Sherfazeu, Kainoa Shintaku, Ethan Shuk, Adric Torres, Darius Watkins. To present the awards in the area of vocal music is Mr. Kevin Tyson, vocal music instructor. The finalists in the area of vocal music are Timothy Doe, Miriam Shafezeu, and Adrian Torres. And the Cornet Award winner in the area of vocal music is Miriam Shafezeu. Miriam, or Ami as she's better known, has been a star of the vocal music program for the last two years. A singer in both concert choir and the advanced troubadour singers for both years, Choir is where she has felt free to be herself. Though the last couple of years have been especially challenging, Ami says it has been choir that has helped her get through it and that it's been her involvement in the vocal music program that has made her into the person she is today. As music is her passion, she puts forth optimal effort to learn and is always interested in self-improvement. She thanks Mr. Kevin Tyson, choir teacher, for helping her to grow as a musician. From, from learning music theory to preparing to perform before an audience, she also credits him with keeping her motivated and positive, especially during the COVID lockdown. Ami is inspired by Mr. Tyson's passion for the vocal music program and his tenacity in raising the bar of excellence. 
The virtual Christmas concert that he produced during lockdown impressed Ami and she is so grateful for the opportunity to have performed in it. Of all the memorable moments in high school, Ami's favorite was the Troubadour's performance at the American Choral Directors Association Conference. All the hours of preparation, stress, rehearsals, and work were all worth it. She says it was at that moment she discovered her passion for music. Though that was their last in-person performance, Ami was nominated last year for a coronet in vocal music and as a student director this year. As a student director, she says she is determined to encourage and give the joy of music to younger students, the way she discovered her love of music for junior year. Ami is headed to UCI next year, where she will study biology, biological engineering and minor in music. She dreams of being a biomedical engineer who focuses on research. We hope whatever life brings you, Ami, you continue to keep a song in your heart. Congratulations. I'd like to introduce the honorees in the area of social science. Sarah Bake, Juliette Bocor, Daniel Bowie, Catherine Chalk, Matthew Cunningham, Zachary Hernandez, Justin Shea, Tara Lamb, Wesley Lin, Judy Liu, Derek Nakagawa, Audrey Nguyen, Benjamin P. Nguyen, Benjamin V. Nguyen, Jaden Nguyen, Tracy Nguyen, Eric Pham, Michelle Pham, Shayla Pham, Peter Sears, Alexander Smiler, Brian Tong, Brandon Tran, Emily Tran, Joanne Tran, Lovey Tran, Aaliyah Vanderberg. To present the award in the area of social science is Mr. Michael Kroll, social science instructor. Finalists in the area of social science are Justin Shea, Derek Nakagawa, Benjamin P. Nguyen, Benjamin V. Nguyen, Jaden Nguyen, Peter Sears, and Levy Tran. The Cornet winner in the area of social science is Peter Sears. It may be hard to believe for anyone who knows Peter now but he reports that at one time he neglected his schoolwork and struggled in class. He thanks his mom for turning that trend around and encouraging him to persevere and stay positive because as he says, negativity can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. During his first year at FEHS, Peter took Mrs. Julie Shashari's World Geography Honors class and it sparked his intellectual curiosity for history, politics, culture, and economics. This curiosity fueled his future success in social science. And successful he is, gamely earning fives on AP exams in human geography, European history, and US history. Outside the classroom, Peter burst out on the barren scene early, winning the talent show with his friends as they channeled Duran Duran from the 80s with Peter himself rocking the iconic saxophone solo. This AP scholar with distinction puts his love for social science into action as an award-winning delegate, vice president and publicist of Fountain Valley's Model United Nations team. During sophomore year, he was an academic world quest competitor and placed second in Orange County. Despite his many accolades, the awards he's most proud of is his FEHS service award for his 160 plus hours of service to Red Cross, Red Cross Club, NHS, CSF, as well as off-campus organizations. Many of his weekends have been dedicated to Red Cross flood drives, soup kitchens, and beach cleanups. Even when the pandemic hit, Peter and his fellow volunteers found a way to plan fun yet safe events to keep giving back to our community. Peter, who hopes to be a lawyer and play a role in public service, was offered admission to USC and University of California, Los Angeles, San Diego, Irvine, and Santa Barbara. But ultimately, he has decided that he will major in either history or economics at Stanford University. We wish you the best, Peter. Congratulations. 
I would now like to introduce the honorees in the area of publications. Lara Elkazaz, Victoria Hirata, Kayla Huang, Justin Shea, Ton Huynh, Katie Nguyen, Anna Norris, Karen Fan, Ton To, Truk Tran. To present the award in the area of publications is Mr. Sean Zebarth, Language Arts and Publications Instructor. The finalists in the area of publications are Victoria Hirota, Justin Shea, Karen Fan, Truck Tran. The Coronet Award winner in the area of publications is Karen Fan. Freshman year, Karen Fan began, began her career with the FEHS Baron Banner, becoming opinion editor by junior year and rising to her current position as co-editor-in-chief senior year. It started modestly enough when a first grade Karen's love for the chapter book, Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus, prompted her mom to get Karen a library card of her own, which resulted in a 30 book per visit habit for this talented writer. All told, Karen has written more than 100 articles for the Baron Banner, and her real portfolio extends beyond that. By taking skills she's developed working with FEHS digital journalism and English teacher, Sean Zeebarth. Though she's been blogging since seventh grade, Karen truly realized that her writing could be a solutions-oriented catalyst for change during junior year with her Medium blog that she used for a project in Mr. Zeebarth's class. Today, her writing on Medium and Twitter continues to open doors for Karen, including freelance writing for Edgy and even a book offer to write about her experiences and ideas about improving the American education system. Karen thanks her sixth grade teacher for helping her research career paths in writing. And she also thanks Mr. Zebarth, who created a space where she could reflect and experiment with her writing and take on meaningful issues without fear of earning a bad grade. Karen will further develop as a writer this fall at UCI where she'll be, marry, where she'll be majoring in English. Congratulations, Karen. I'd like to introduce the honorees in the area of instrumental music. Mercedes Bracey, Matthew Cunningham, Zachary Hernandez, Danica Kwan, Peter Sears, Derek Cerna, Laura Stoy, Kaylee Tran, Adam Van Borum, Tiffany Vo. To present the awards in the area of instrumental music is Mr. Kevin Tyson, vocal music instructor. The finalists in the area of instrumental music are Danica Kwan, Laura Stoy, and Tiffany Vo. And the Cornet Award winner in the area of instrumental music is Tiffany Vo. A member of the FEHS Jazz Band, Advanced Music Honors Class, and of course, the illustrious Fountain Valley Royal Regiment Marching Band, Tiffany Vo eats, sleeps, and breathes music. She has served as first chair for the alto saxophone section throughout all of high school, and has acted as the assistant, associate, and is now the head drum major of the award-winning band. Individually, Tiffany has been bestowed with awards such as Most Inspirational, Sophomore and Junior of the Year, and most valuable symphonic band performer. Accolades aside, she knows what goes into making a successful performance and band. She says, by painting yard lines, programming the DB90 metronome and assembling the sound system, I became a vital cog in a well-oiled machine. During band rehearsals, when low morale, morale or problems may arise, Tiffany is committed to encouraging her bandmates with the mantra, perform as one band, win as one band. As the head drum major in particular, she says she has become a resilient leader and is proud of the camaraderie she has been able to restore to the group. Also a talented pianist, Tiffany decided to begin work as a music theory teacher after being a student of the instrument for 12 years and achieving the highest certificates of merit. As a teacher, Tiffany says she remembers and honors those who taught her. 
This talented Baron is also the president of the Health and Cancer Awareness Society, the performing arts director of the newly established Fountain Valley Under United Under Arts Club, and was even our homecoming queen this year. In the fall, Tiffany will attend Cal State Fullerton, where she has been accepted to the business honors program and will concentrate on accounting. While she hopes to someday be a financial analyst or controller, she also says, as a musician, I strive to communicate with others in order to resonate our stories into one powerful symphony. And we hope you continue to make beautiful music, Tiffany. Congratulations. I would like to introduce the honorees in the area of business education. Liam Daniels, Madeline Freeman, An Hua, Diane Lay, Derek Nakagawa, Audrey Nguyen, Mi Nguyen, Natalie Papazian, Shayla Pham, Min Fan, Brian Tong, Jake Tran, Joanne Tran. To present the awards in the area of business education is Mr. Eddie Lavrov, business education instructor. The finalists in the area of business education are Anne Hua, Natalie Papazian, and Min Fan. The Coronet Award winner in the area of business education is Min Fan. Whenever Min looks at a stock graph, energy surges through his body. This phenom, began, this phenom began just before high school when his dad started to share financial newspapers and stock graphs with him, explaining what the numbers meant. Now, investing is Min's passion. At FEHS, Min joined Virtual Enterprise and Future Business Leaders of America to expand his knowledge. With persistence, he was able to land an internship with Vietnam-based Dragon Capital Group. The experience was invaluable and helped Min map out his career goals. This AP Scholar with Honor has been a powerhouse on the Barron Virtual Enterprise team for two years. He took gold in salesmanship and sales materials during his junior year and placed third in state two years running for his team's business plan. Currently, he serves as the Chief Financial Officer for MIND, a virtual enterprise company that sells denim made from recycled plastic bottles. FEHS Virtual Enterprise went farther than any other team in Orange County this year. Min is an eager learner who works impressively hard, but he attributes his success to his flexible and supportive family who are his life jacket in a stormy sea. Min's future plans include working for J.P. Morgan or one of the big four accounting firms. And he'll continue his journey this fall at UC Berkeley, where he'll major in data science and business administration. We'll look for you on the pages of Forbes. Congratulations, Min. I would like to introduce the honorees in the area of language arts. <laughs> Aliyah Alzheim. Avery Austin, Ryan Blade, Daniel Bowie, Christy Chow, Matthew Cunningham, Cassidy Duan, Heather Erickson, Camelia Hines, Kayla Huang, Justin Shea, Mariam Tajawi, Emmy King, Amy Lamb, Tara Lamb, Wesley Lynn, Duclon No, Benjamin P. Nguyen, Serafina Nguyen, Trang Nguyen, Michelle Pham, Karen Pham, Peter Sears, Miriam Shervazeo, Alexander Smiler, Laura Stoy, Tessa Then, Jake Tran, Diana Trong, Tiffany Vo. To present the award in the area of language arts 
is Mr. Sean Zebarth, Language Arts and Publications Instructor. The finalists in the area of language arts are Ryan Blade, Dustin Shea, Emmy King, Tara Lamb, Karen Fan, Peter Sears, Alexander Smiler, and Jake Tran. The Coronet Award winner in the area of language arts is Justin Shea. Justin's name is consistently met with appreciative sighs from the FVHS teachers lucky enough to know him. He's a student who earns sky high grades, no course average lower than 97.42%, and yet he doesn't care too much about grades. Learning is his focus, and his love of learning is the secret to his success, he reports. Justin loves English because it helps him perfect the magical act of transferring thoughts from his head to another's and from another's to his own. Helping others is also a part of who Justin is. Baron Banner, where he's co-editor-in-chief this year, taught him that the only thing more satisfying than being good at writing is to help someone else become good at writing. Justin's own writing is award-winning. Last year, he won the New York Times Annual Connection Contest and the OC Journalist Education Association's News Write-Off. In addition to his language arts prowess, Justin racked up fives on AP exams in Spanish, biology, U.S. history, English language, chemistry, European history, human, human geography. And that was just by the end of junior year. Inspired by English and journalism teacher Sean Zebarth's visible passion for teaching, Justin, too, hopes one day to be a teacher. This multifaceted scholar will continue his studies at Yale University, where he will double major in ethics, politics, and economics, and computer science. Congratulations, Justin. I would like to introduce the honorees in the area of consumer and family studies. Alexis Davis, Nick Dow, Edelise Esteban, Sierra Farrow, Avrina Gattis, Josiane Gurgis, Ryan Okawa, Alex Kwok, Haley Ryder, Angelina Tran, Thien Kwok Tran. To present the award in the area of consumer and family studies is Mrs. Elisa Hernandez, consumer and family studies instructor. The finalists in the area of consumer and family studies are Nick Dow, Sierra Farrow, and Ryan Okawa. And the Coronet Award winner for consumer and family studies is Ryan Okawa. Ryan's success in consumer family studies stems from his support team, which includes teachers, coaches, friends, and family. But when it comes down to it, Ryan's effort, belief in himself, and his ability to grow have fueled his creative achievement. He began his work in consumer family studies freshman year, facing introduction to design elements. During junior year, he moved on to fashion design. And he's rounded out senior year with coursework in environmental design and life management too. Both with inspirational Baron teacher, Ms. Hernandez, who according to Ryan, is his personality role model. Down to earth, yet professional, with an energy that excites the room or the Zoom. Decidedly humble, Ryan, who is the FVHS Fashion Club president and Color Guard team member, feels that other students in the Consumer Family Studies department may have more talent than he does, but his warm personality and involvement on campus have taught him to adapt to meeting new challenges. Ryan will attend Orange Coast College, majoring in business and fashion management, and from there, he hopes to matriculate to the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. We honor your passion, resilience, and creativity. Congratulations, Ryan. And now the honorees in the area of school service and leadership. Cielo Shavaria, 
Samantha Josephson, Ethan Lamb, Tara Lamb, Taylor Lay Mendoza, Michelina Nguyen, Anjali Patel, Jake Tran, Joanne Tran, Malia Tran. To present the awards in the area of school service and leadership is Dr. Josh Lamar, Assistant Principal of Curriculum. The finalists in the area of school service and leadership are Cielo Shaveria, Tara Lamb, and Taylor Lee Mendoza. The Cornet Award winner in the area of school service and leadership is Cielo Shaveria. You're going to want to remember her name. Since before she even stepped foot on FEHS's campus, Cielo Chavaria has been a social justice warrior. I mean, not every middle schooler is a suffragette for Halloween. The list of contributions Cielo has made, not just to FEHS, but to our community, is a long one. So I'll give you just some of the highlights. She's been involved in the interfaith, and human, interfaith Network and Human Relations Program, is a student representative in the FEHS Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee, and served as a student board member in the Orange County Human Relations Council Board Governance Committee, and the Orange County Human Relations Ambassadors Program. Through the Brer and Bridge Builders on the FEHS campus and OC Human Relations, Cielo has helped to host and even presented at the last three Day of Dialogue events, which host guest speakers from the community on various topics on social justice. The list really does go on, as do her awards for her contributions to these groups. Moved by the students of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School after the school shooting that took place on their campus, Cielo spearheaded a march to end gun violence that led over 400 FEHS students to the Fountain Valley Police Department. She was only a freshman. Once they arrived, acting as the student representative, Cielo met with Chief Kevin Childs, Principal Dr. Smith, and HBUHSD district administrators. As a senior, she is now working together with the district to develop and offer the first ethnic studies course to be offered in the district. Perhaps unsurprisingly, all things legal are also a passion for Cielo. She secured a position on the mock trial team as a freshman and has performed as an attorney for both prosecution and defense teams. This year, she was awarded the Outstanding Attorney Award from the Orange County Constitutional Rights Foundation, an honor that is bestowed upon only one student in the entire county. As captain of the team and as a leader in general, Cielo says she has learned that being an activist isn't just about who or what you are involved with, it's about who you are. Being an example of a loving, decent human being, being every day is the best that we can contribute. Cielo acknowledges that her success has been fostered by the village that surrounds her, her parents, mentors, teachers, and friends. She thanks social studies teacher, Mrs. Julie Shishari, for just demonstrating that education is an act of love and says she hopes to embody that spirit for the rest of her life as she serves as a lifelong public servant. But first, Cielo will attend Wellesley College in Massachusetts and will study political science and history. After law school, she's considering becoming a civil rights attorney and perhaps a professor. Wherever the road takes you, Cielo, know that we will be proudly rooting for you. Congratulations. I would like to introduce the honorees in the area of mathematics. David B. Christy Chow. Tim Duong, Justin Shea, Diane Lei, Kevin Ma, Chao Mai, Daniel Matthew, Derek Nakagawa, Andrew Nguyen, Benjamin P. Nguyen, Benjamin V. Nguyen, Jaden N. Nguyen. Jaden T. Nguyen, Nathan Nguyen, Ryan Nguyen, Tracy Nguyen, Min Fan, Matthew Richardson, Laura Stoy, Peter Sun, Mona Takuma, 
Tessa Then, Emily Tran, Evelyn Tran, Jimmy Tran, Joanne Tran, Kaylee Tran, Tiffany Vo, Skylar Volts. To present the award in the area of mathematics is the department coordinator, Mrs. Kathy Leojewski, mathematics department coordinator. Finalists in the area of mathematics are David Bean, Justin Shea, Daniel Matthew, Ben P. Nguyen, Peter Sun, Tessa Van, and Jimmy Tran. And the winner in the area of mathematics, Peter Sun. Peter kicked off his barren math career with accelerated geometry after self-studying Algebra 1 the summer before high school. By 11th grade, he was acing calculus and earned the highest possible score on the AP Calculus BC exam. Currently, he's rocking AP stats and college-level multivariable calculus. Clearly, this AP scholar with distinction is a paragon of mathematics achievement consistently placing in the school's top three in the American Mathematics Competition, earning its Certificate of Distinction, and qualifying for the American Invitational Mathematics Examination by qualifying in the top 5% of participants nationwide. As two-year president of the Barron Math Olympiad Club, he led his team to Math Madness online playoffs. One of Peter's best FBHS memories was handing out pie for Pie Day last March. There were so many pies that the math crew ran out of plates. A bit chaotic, but ultimately enjoyable, as Peter watched his friends recite the digits of pie. This coronet highlights Peter's achievement in math, but it's worth mentioning that he's an AP scholar in chemistry, Chinese, physics, English literature, biology, statistics, and computer science as well. He's been offered admission to UC campuses at San Diego, Santa Barbara, Irvine, and also Los Angeles, where he has opted to study, what else? Math, with the ultimate goal of becoming a professor. We wish you the best of luck always, Peter. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce the honorees in the area of visual arts. Faith Cruz, Caitlin Dowdy, Oscar Hua, Emmy King, Ivy Lay, Cynthia Lee, Justine Lim, Serafina Nguyen, Jordan Peschke, Nguyen An Pham, Ashley Pham, Angelina Raja, Yasmin Serhal, Annie Vu, April Ma. And to present the award in the area of visual arts is Mr. Mike Ike, visual arts instructor. The finalists in the area of visual arts are Emmy King, Ivy Lay, Serafina Nguyen, Jordan Paschke, and Ashley Fan. The Coronet Award winner in the area of drawing and painting, Emily King. Anyone who knows Emily King, or Emmy, is familiar with her positivity, sense of humor, smile that lights up the room, and her artistic talent. From Mr. Ike's animation class her sophomore year to AP drawing this year, Emmy has honed her craft and grown as an artist. Crucial keys for Emily, whether it be in creating art, succeeding in academics, or killing it on the basketball court, are her willingness to ask questions and her perseverance. She admits that any of these things are wonderful, but can also present roadblocks from time to time, leading to frustration. But what allows someone to improve is their ability to put aside their ego and seek support. As she sees it, it's a necessity. How can I get better if I don't acknowledge that there are areas where I need help, she says. 
But whether with her art or in the classroom or on the court, her tenacity has paid off. As a member of the basketball team, she's been awarded as most inspirational, has received two PTSA awards last year based on her outstanding attitude and general awesomeness in the classroom. And most recently, she was selected as one of only three finalists for the 2021 California 48th District Congressional Art Competition. If her work, these boots were made for walking, is selected, it will be sent to Capitol Hill to be hung up in the Congressional Gallery. Emily's outstanding work ethic and drive for self-improvement have served her well as well. She's thrilled that she will attend her first choice school, George Fox University near Portland, Oregon, where she has won the prestigious Duke Scholars Scholarship after an interview with the president of the university and a George Fox Merit Scholarship. Her teachers are proud to know that she will study elementary education and someday will share her talents with children in the classroom. We are so proud of you, Emmy. Best of luck. Cornette Award winner in the area of digital arts, Ivy Lay. Ivy gained campus-wide fame when her online sticker business was the focus of a barren broadcast news feature. The notoriety fostered this artist's confidence and using Instagram, she extended the reach of her art internationally, all the way to Singapore even. For Ivy, art is a way to touch hearts. Through both traditional and digital media, she's done just that. She began oil painting at age eight and is constantly perfecting her craft feeling empowered by her range from landscapes to precise portraits. Art is also a means for this ambivert to share her emotions. Along the way, she's even learned to embrace criticism because it allows her to stretch her perspective and improve her technique. She credits veteran FEHS art teacher, Mike Ike, for teaching her that art is limitless and allowing her to figure out her spark as she tried her hand at gouache painting, anatomy drawing, and even melting crayon wax to create textured pieces. Ivy's art has been featured in studios, HBUHS district office, the Baron Admin Building, South Coast Plaza, and even the Laguna Beach Festival of the Arts. This national merit commended scholar plans to major in mechanical engineering with a specialization in fluid mechanics. Well done, Ivy. We wish you all the best. Congratulations. I would like to introduce the honorees in the area of theater arts. Corvin Onledge, Catherine Bell, Iva Irwin, Kayla Huang, Robert Macy, Mackenzie Martell, Roger Nguyen, Michelle Fan. The finalists in the area of theater arts are Corvin Onledge, Iva Irwin, Michelle Pham. The Coronet Award winner in the area of theater arts is Iva Irwin. Theater has been a passion for Iva since she was, as she puts it, really, really little. But since she joined the VHS theater program, her dedication and passion have only grown. As a varsity dance and song team member, Iva appreciates that she has had the opportunity in high school to be involved in an array of art forms. In fact, when it comes to her artistic endeavors, she credits her mother. She says that her mom has always been her number one supporter, enrolling her in whatever art classes she is interested in, supporting her artistic exploration, and even influencing her music taste by taking her to her first concert. Being involved in theater, Iva says she has come to appreciate how people can connect with each other through a shared passion. She says she's also realized it's okay to be wrong, lost, and beat, as long as you are able to pick yourself back up and do better next time. If you believe in yourself enough, nothing is unattainable. Setting goals and working for them pays off in the end and your hard work and dedication will show. She also says that learning from your teachers isn't just about subject matter, it's about their journeys too, because from their experiences, they've learned what's important and won't misguide you if they can help it. As for those teachers, 
Iva is especially grateful for the guidance of Mr. Bob Zick, theater teacher, that he has given her. It has been his support, honesty, and inspiration that have motivated her to pursue her dreams. Iva has earned honors such as show honoree from the Kathy's program, behind the scenes excellence, and has twice won outstanding performance in the Follies. This year, she is most proud of having been nominated for the prestigious Orange County Artist of the Year from the Orange County Register. Next year, Iva will attend OCC and study theater or liberal arts. She plans to transfer to UCLA or Pell State Long Beach later and become an elementary school teacher. Congratulations, Iva, take a bow. I'd like to introduce the honorees in the area of performing units. Caitlin Dowdy, Lucy Dowdy, Madeline Freeman, Skylar Hansen, Carissa Lamb, Amanda Nguyen, Megan Trong, Aliyah Vanderberg. The finalists in the area of performing units are Madeline Freeman, Amanda Nguyen, Megan Trong, The Coronet Award winner in the area of performing units is Amanda Nguyen. Amanda cannot recall a time when cheer and dance weren't a part of her life. And song leading was the perfect marriage of her passion for both athletics and performing arts. This current captain of Baron Varsity Song Leading has developed as a leader during her tenure at FDHS. Amanda describes herself as naturally shy but her desire to help others brought her out of her shell. She's also grown more confident during high school summers at the Johns Hopkins Center for Talented Youth Summer Program, a place where she learned to be the best possible version of herself. Bringing joy to others is a huge, huge part of that best possible self. She's the president of Operation Be Kind Club. She's also coached cheerleading at her former elementary school, helping to mold the spirit of the next generation. Leadership, Amanda says, is the art of helping others excel. In the classroom, Amanda is an absolute powerhouse. She's a National Merit Commended student and AP Scholar with Distinction, who by junior year had earned fives on AP exams in biology, English language, US history, and human geography. Amanda will continue her dream of serving others as a pre-med student at UCLA this fall. Thank you for your leadership and inspiration, Amanda. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce the honorees in the area of science. Aliyah Alzey, Juliette Bocor, Heather Erickson, Avrina Gattis, Sean Ho, Justin Shea, Oscar Hua, Mariam Jajawi, Tara Lamb, Albert Lee, Daniel Matthew, Amanda Nguyen, Andrew Nguyen, Benjamin P. Nguyen, Benjamin V. Nguyen, Jaden Nguyen, Michelina Nguyen, Ryan Nguyen, Serafina Nguyen, Trang Nguyen, Michelle Pham, Matthew Richardson, Peter Sears, Peter Sun, Brian Tun, Joanne Tran, Lovey Tran, Truk Tran, Diana Trong, Skylar Bolts. To present the awards, to present the award in the area of science is science instructor and department coordinator, Ms. Lahua Wardell. The finalists in the area of science are Justin Shea, Tara Lamb, Andrew Nguyen, Ben P. Nguyen, Benjamin V. Nguyen, Ryan Nguyen, 
and Peter Sun. The Coronet Award winner in the area of science is Benjamin B. DeWitt. Though it's always been his favorite subject, it wasn't until Mrs. Luhua Burdell's accelerated biology class his freshman year that Ben Wynn's love of science came alive. Though initially a bit intimidated, Ben was soon hooked. He says Mrs. Burdell's lectures were so intriguing and captivating that they left him hungry to learn more and more. Every day he eagerly attended class to learn more about the subject that he loves with all his heart. This outstanding Baron said that he is now discovering the truth of what his seventh grade science teacher once said, curiosity and wonder are at the root to all scientific discoveries and greatness. Since then, he has taken AP chemistry, AP biology, and is currently in AP physics. He has earned a perfect score of five on both the AP chemistry and biology exams, a perfect score on the SAT chemistry subject test, and was honored at last year's Coronet Awards as a nominee in the area of science. Ben's love for science extends beyond the classroom as well. He's been a four-year member of both the engineering club and science Olympiad team, and is the president of both this year. But his involvement at FBHS doesn't stop there. As Ben puts it, going through high school without being involved with the culture, clubs, and the community is like rushing through a hike just to get to the end. Although you reach your goals faster, it's vital that you enjoy the journey of high school and immerse yourself in the diverse extracurriculars of FBHS. And immerse himself, he has. He's a member of National Honor Society, co-founder and co-president of the Kiva Finance Club, Red Cross Club, a Link Crew freshman orientation leader, an FV public library volunteer, the award-winning varsity tennis team captain, and more. In fact, his prowess on the tennis courts is unmatched between his science Olympiad and tennis awards. We'd be here all night if I were to list them all. As the child of immigrants, Ben has always been committed to giving back. Watching his parents strife and sacrifice in an unfamiliar country without complaint has inspired him to serve in the United States Army. Accepted to Cornell University, Rice University, UC Berkeley, UCLA, USC, UC San Diego, UC Santa Barbara, UCI, and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, I'm so proud to state instead that Ben will attend the United States Military Academy at West Point, where he will major in computer science and aeronautical engineering. We're so proud of you, Ben, and wish you the best. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce the honorees in the area of girls athletics. Lauren Berg, Juliette Bocor, Brooke Bonney, Christy Chow, Leah Ferris, Skylar Hansen, Lauren Mena, Taylor Mendoza, Amanda Nguyen, Caitlin Okawa, Taylor Pham, Courtney Robinson, Jasmine Solozano, Mona Takuma, Audrey Tengen, Margaret Tengen, Tessa Than, Zanvius Thantron, Joanne Tran, Kaylee Tran, Veronica Trin, Marissa Villafuerte, Skylar Volz. Now, before we present the finalists and winner in this area, we wanted to make a special mention of one student who just received her seventh nomination tonight, which is more than any other nominee this evening. This nominee is Joanne Tran. To excel in one area is impressive. But to be nominated in seven categories demonstrate that this student is not just well-rounded, but has approached all she has done with character, determination, and the pursuit of excellence. For this reason, we wanted to take a moment to recognize Joanne for her embodiment of the barren spirit during her time at Fountain Valley High School. And now, to present the award in the area of girls' athletics, is Mr. Roger Holmes, Athletic Director. The 
The finalists in the area of girls athletics are Juliet Bocor, Skylar Hansen, Lauren Minna, and Caitlin Okawa. The Cornet Award winner in the areas of girls athletics is Lauren Minna. For all four years of her time at Barron Manor, Lauren has dedicated herself to volleyball. She has learned that there are no shortcuts to being confident on the court. You have to earn it. And this setter has earned it, putting in extra hours on the court, the weight room, and even at home, training to be the best she can be. An extra five plus hours a week matters, she explained. As varsity volleyball captain, Lauren learned to work with different types of people and form relationships that foster growth for the team. Though the pandemic put a damper on this year's indoor competitions, Lauren fondly recalls CIF quarterfinals last year when support for the team reached a fever pitch. She looked on at the stands and her jaw dropped by the Barron supporters who came out in droves to watch the first girls volleyball team to make it to CIF in many years. Lauren's talent and hard work were recognized league-wide when she was named Varsity MVP and First Team Sunset League in 2019. This athletic Baron serves as a role model on campus. She's active in ASD and is a stellar student to boot. Lauren has been offered a full scholarship to play volleyball and major in elementary education at Dixie State University, a Division I school in beautiful St. George, Utah. Your work ethic, integrity, and athleticism have made a permanent mark on Baron Volleyball. Way to go, Lauren. I would now like to introduce the honorees in the area of boys athletics. Cole Campbell, Matthew Cunningham, Justin Dang, Tim Duong, Shane Hill, Ethan Lamb, Derek Nakagawa, Ivan Nee, Benjamin V. Nguyen, Ryan Nguyen, Jacob Rintoul, James Templin, Ho Hung Tang, Alex Webster, Max Wilner, Malachi Wright, Brian Yoon. Again, to present the awards in boys athletics is Mr. Roger Holmes, athletics director. Uh, sorry, the finalists in the area of boys athletics are Ivan Nee, Benjamin V. Nguyen, Max Wilner, and Brian Hume. The Coronet Award winner in the area of boys athletics is Max Wilner. As a four-year starter of the FVHS wrestling team, Max Wilner has had a lot to celebrate during his time at FVHS. Not only has this three-time MVP helped garner the Sunset League championship title for the team in 2018, 2019, and 2020, his hard work and dedication to the sport has resulted in a number of personal accolades as well. These include Daily Pilot Wrestler of the Year for two years running, two National High School Coaches Association National Champion Awards, Most Outstanding Wrestler in Upper Weights twice, and individual CIF championships. Despite the fact that Max has also secured positions at the state level and was ranked number five in the country last season, his most memorable moments have been each time his team won CIF championships. The spirit of teamwork is evident in Max's approach to winning. Quote, my awards and accomplishments have never been about me. It's about how far we can go, he says. Max also says, going out on the mat, I represent FV, my family, my teammates, coaches, and myself. He credits his success in wrestling to his parents, coaches, and God. He appreciates his parents' unwavering support, his coach's ability to help him through any self-doubt or nerves, and his faith for helping him to succeed. In November, Max proudly signed the number six ranked Division I wrestling team at Arizona State University, where he has earned a full scholarship for wrestling and his academic accomplishments. When he isn't on the mat, Max will study business law and hopes to later attend law school at ASU. Good luck, Max, and go Sun Devils. We will now be honoring one student 
in our tri-finalist presentation. In each of the award areas you've seen tonight, finalists were chosen with one being selected for the coveted coronet medallion. It is rare that a person can excel as a finalist in more than one area. So this student should be very proud indeed. We wish to recognize and honor this outstanding and deserving student who has been selected as a finalist in more than one area. And to present the award will be Dr. Morgan Smith, principal of Fountain Valley High School. Our tri-finalist was a finalist in the areas of mathematics, science, and social science. Benjamin P. Nguyen. A finalist tonight in the areas of math, science, and social science, Ben Nguyen has truly explored and excelled in each of these subjects areas. If you ask him, Ben will tell you his success largely comes from the passion he has for learning and for applying what he learns in the classroom into his daily life. For example, he's used trigonometry to calculate the distance he biked between his house and the beach. He's boiled instant ramen in Mammoth and observed how the high altitude and lower atmospheric pressure results in the vapor pressure equalizing at a lower temperature, resulting in undercooked noodles. And he's used his knowledge of rhetorical analysis to examine bias in news articles. Ben has taken the most rigorous courses in science, math, and social science every year of high school, has earned perfect scores of five on AP exams on US history, human geography, European history, chemistry, English language and composition, computer science, and Spanish language and culture. He's also a national merit finalist. He has countless awards for competitions from academic decathlon to essay contests to world quest competitions but don't get the idea that Ben doesn't know how to have a good time or have a sense of humor. Ben is famous around campus for recreating the FVHS campus in the video game Minecraft. The project started just as the lockdown came in March of last year, and it brought much camaraderie to the students and teachers of FVHS, as well as some healthy recognition for the Minecraft club, of which Ben is president. He also admits that what got him in the door for the first academic decathlon meeting his freshman year What's the promise of free pizza? When he realized he had to become knowledgeable and take exams on seven subjects outside his regular classes, he was hesitant. Pretty quickly, however, he realized that these subjects connected with so many other areas. In fact, Ben says the science section on infectious diseases he studied his freshman year and the healthcare economics he learned his last year unwittingly prepared him for the coronavirus pandemic. Likewise, as Black Lives Matter protests erupted across the nation, he reflected on the history surrounding the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which he had learned about as a sophomore in academic decathlon. Demonstrating Ben's tenacity for self-improvement is the fact that he's most proud of having earned the most improved award in cross country. Of all his accolades, he's most proud of this honor as the port sport poses such a challenge to him and he was determined to push past the mental block he had to succeed on the track. UCLA will claim Ben as their own in the fall where he will study biochemistry. He plans to pursue a career as a physician. We know your commitment to learning will take you far, Ben. Best wishes. The coveted honor reserved for one young man and one young woman is the principal's trophy, the Prix de Nure. This prize of honor represents four years of outstanding achievement and contribution to Fountain Valley High School. Here again to present the Prix de Nure is Dr. Morgan Smith. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the 2021 male Prix de Nure. He is Justin Shea. You've heard his name and seen his photo a lot tonight. In addition to winning the coronet in English, Justin was nominated in six categories and named finalist in four of these subjects, publications, science, history, Spanish, and math. It's clear that Justin embodies the all around academic excellence of the pre -tenure. But outside the classroom, Justin is equally inspirational as a four-year member of the Barron Cross Country team and varsity captain for two years running. Har har. Additionally, Justin pushed his limits on the track team as 
and as president of FE's Model United Nations team, this humble baron credits his teammates for showing him that with his team, he's, in cap he's capable of more than he'd ever be able to tackle alone. While at Fountain Valley, Justin Shea has done his best to pursue education in a way that embodies what he feels is the FEHS spirit, a commitment to learning, to sharing joy, and to being unironically spirited and curious about the world. You've dazzled us, Justin, and we're very proud to call you our 2021 Freedenur. Congratulations and good luck at Yale. It gives me great deal of pleasure to introduce 2021 female Freedenur. She is Tara Lamb. As you've seen tonight, Tara Lamb's name is synonymous with service, leadership, and accomplishment. The winner of the Cornet tonight in Spanish, she was also nominated in social science and was a finalist in language arts, school service and leadership, and science. Tara truly embodies the well-rounded Barron student. She has served our Barron community through her participation in the Barron Broadcast News as a Girl State Auxiliary Delegate a member of the FVHS Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee, and ASB and Student Senate. She's been a member of the JV Girls Volleyball Team, True Vare's Girls Choir, the Math Olympiad Team, and was even on Homecoming Court. Of all her activities, Tara has been fiercely dedicated to those with the Red Cross Club. As a member and in various leadership positions, she helped to reconnect the FVHS club to the American Red Cross and has been named a Red Cross Blood Donor Ambassador scheduling specialist and is the Red Cross Summer Youth Corps Program Coordinator and lead. She even was awarded the American Red Cross Leader Save Lives Scholarship. Tara's service to others landed her a coronet nomination for school service and leadership last year. And when she graduates this year, she will wear the service cord with her cap and gown to note her contributions. Tara is even an in-home supportive services caregiver. This academic and service-oriented powerhouse plans to become a doctor of family medicine and will use her biliteracy in Vietnamese to help serve her patients. First, she will attend UCLA, where she plans to major in biology and conduct research on a potential cure for diabetes. Ultimately, Tara endeavors to advocate for diversity, equity, and inclusion in healthcare while working to educate her coworkers on and combat unconscious bias in medicine. We are so impressed by all your contributions, Tara, and know that you will continue to reach your goals. Many congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to pay special recognition to those efforts have made this, whose efforts have made this evening's award presentation possible. First, we would like to again recognize all the students who have been honored this evening. I would like to thank our producers this is Sarah Sade and this is Annalisa Tree. Also, thank you to Miss Mrs. Jane Springer, our coordinates, coordinates coordinator, and Mrs. Sharon Tate and Mrs. Valerie Kearney, our coordinate support providers. We'd also like to thank Mr. Robert Zick, our master of ceremonies, and Mr. Sean Zebarth, who provided all the graphics for tonight's program. This program would not have been possible without the countless hours of effort and editing provided by the dynamic duo of Mr. Zick and Mr. Zebar. There is one other group of people who have made this evening so very special. The staff and students of Fountain Valley High School would like to recognize the parents of all honorees. Certificate winners and medallion winners for your support and contributions to our school and students. There's a great spirit and enthusiasm which exists on our campus. I would like to thank our students, faculty, and staff for the esprit de corps they have generated within our school, especially during this challenging time. Thank you all for watching and sharing this important event in recognition of our students. Thank you and have a great night.